At Bletchley Park, engineers hooked up their own network of on-off switches to crack the German codes. Where I've used two switches, this machine used over 2,000, and it was aptly called Colossus. Back in the day, Colossus was revolutionary because it used these electronic valves for its fast and reliable switching. Fast and reliable for its time, because within 10 years, that same job was being done by transistors, considerably smaller. Now, I pulled this out of a modern computer. That's the central processing unit, the chip that does the switching. And on there, there are 54 million transistors. And it's that kind of miniaturization that has revolutionized what we can do with computers. Using switches to process ons and offs is how all computers work. But today, they're known as ones and zeros. You might not think you can get much subtlety out of a switch just being on or off, but there are millions of them at work for you right now, sending out a stream of ones and zeros, sequentially telling every pixel on your screen, like these ones here, just how bright or dark they need to be. Your holiday snaps, they're a sequence of ones and zeros. Your MP3s, a load of ones and zeros. And every letter on a keyboard is an eight digit code of ones or zeros to a computer. For Colossus, data was fed in on paper tape. Each punched hole or unpunched space acted as a one or a zero. Today, individual ones or zeros are called bits. And nowadays, we reckon eight bits are a byte. And to match the storage capacity of something like a hard drive, 250 gigabytes, your piece of paper would need to go to the moon and back and probably back to the moon again. So how can we pack so many bits into such a little box? Well, most hard drives work using magnets. Computers magnetise an area of a disk, like I'm magnetising these bolt heads. I'll use magnetic north for one and south for zero, which can then be detected later. In a real hard drive, the magnetizable areas are sitting on a spinning disk. Now, quite literally on there, there are millions of billions of magnetizable areas, each so small it's actually smaller than a virus. 10,000 of them would fit across the width of a human hair. And this is spinning around at 100 times a second or more. And yet still, the computer is extracting a phenomenal amount of data incredibly quickly. Now, just because this all seems like some ridiculous science fiction fantasy piece of engineering, doesn't mean you shouldn't have a go at building your own. Now, where's that MDF? As a team, we're putting together a massive four byte hard drive. Four rings of eight magnets on a spinning platter. As the disc spins past the electromagnet, it reads each bit as a zero or a one. 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 I've left Chris and Jim to secretly encode each ring as a sequence of eight bits, enough for a letter on a keyboard. That's a zero. One. And I decipher the code back into letters. One. What takes me 30 one. seconds, a computer zero. does at nearly the speed of light. Oh, I mean, that's just brilliant. I mean, what can I say? Milk two sugars, please.